right, so I'm sitting here in the house working on a website, and the kid comes in, he goes, hey, Dad, I need a new pair of shoes. So I go, oh, yeah, really? Well, you know, kids' shoes, they want like Nikes and, and uh, New Balance and, and all the fancy stuff. So I go, okay, sure. Why do you need new shoes? I said, well, Dad, my toes hurt. I said, okay, well, let me see why. So he shows me his toe, and lo and behold, what do I see? An ingrown toenail. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can save yourself all kinds of money. When your kid comes and says, I need a new pair of shoes, Dad, and it turns out to be an ingrown toenail. Now, if it's not that, buy the kid a new pair of shoes. But if it's an ingrown toenail, I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix it so that you don't have to. Hey, the kid doesn't have to be in pain, or it doesn't have to be your child. It can be your spouse or your friend or anybody. So and the way that we do this is a, is a technique that I learned in my native country in Colombia. And it is an awesome technique that always works, an ingrown toenail. So first, I want to show you the boy's toe and give you a little bit uh, of understanding why this technique works in advance. Okay, here we go. All right, so you can see here on, on the toenail that right in this area is very red. Okay, so the nail itself is penetrating into the skin and aggravating the area and eventually it will get uh, infected if it's not dealt with. So a little more explanation of why this technique is going to work. As you can see when he walks pressure is applied to this part of the, of the toe of the foot and then that drives the nail deeper into the skin. Now the nature of the nail being round it gives it a lot of strength so it doesn't give. What we're going to do is I'm going to cut a groove. I'm going to make a groove from here to around here deep enough so that when he walks and puts pressure here the nail opens up, comes up instead of bearing into the skin. So uh, I'll do that right now. Alright, so I'm going to use a knife and you know this is a home remedy so you might have something else at home I, I have this nice little knife that I'm going to use here and uh, it, you know in, in, in clinical practice of course you want to use all kinds of sterile equipment and what have you but what if you are hiking and you don't have anything to take care of an ingrown toenail you don't have sterile equipment well you're going to have to take your knife out okay and maybe take a little fire and light up the candle and, and, and burn the knife a little bit to kill anything. But really nothing is going to happen here. So I'm going to go from here, on the tip here, to down here and make a groove. So start like this here. And we just keep doing this all the way from around here, right where the area where the the toenail is, it has the little moon, the little white circle, right around there. And it might be a little bit uncomfortable, uh, but you want to avoid like putting too much pressure on this part of the foot and then pressing with a knife because that then just drives the nail back in. So just kind of keep the toe kind of free floating there while you make a nice little groove in here. Now again, the sharper the object, the better. I just have this knife and I don't have, I'm not in my office where I have weapons of mass. Comfort. So we just make this little It helps if you have uh, dancing with the stars in the background. Okay. Yeah. And just like that. And uh, 
you can see the groove in there. You see? Let me go just a little bit deeper, just a hair deeper there. Now the young man is my son, so he has been instructed not to scream, not to make any shouting, ouch noises. Now here you have to be very gentle because you're close to the skin and you definitely don't want to slip. I have done this technique countless numbers of times. Uh, to my family, to myself, to uh, my patients, my friends, children. Pretty nice and deep there. A little more down here. Okay. And that just about does it. Very good deep, good depth in there. Maybe just a hair more. Okay. So what's going to happen then is when he starts walking and pressure is applied to the bottom of the foot the nail has room to give you know like this is the nail I made a groove so it can go this way so that it doesn't uh, bury itself again into uh, this part of the toe and, and it will happen you know at first he'll still hurt for a day or two but after that it'll be just as good as new all right thank you young man so again, uh, again, make sure that uh, when you do this, that uh, you uh, don't go too deep. Uh, go deep enough so that it creates a groove. Because remember the nail being like this, in this configuration. And when you make a groove in the middle of the nail, whenever he steps, it's going to cause the nail to open up. You see? Without that groove, then every time he steps, he just drives the edges of the nail deeper into the under the skin. So make a nice little groove there on the nail and it opens up. Okay? Thanks.